Today we're gonna figure out what eight equals 36, six equals 36, 30 equals 68. What does this all really mean? Why do they offer us all these choices? And from what I've seen on the internet, everybody just goes by like this square footage down there, but there's like a third dimension to toilet paper. So we're gonna go all inclusive, finally figure this out. Let's start right now. This dog in his squeaky toys. We're gonna do every scientific test possible and then some unscientific tests. The Mega Plus comes in at 136 grams. The Double Plus comes in at 68 grams. The Super Mega comes in at 173 grams. I'm gonna measure the actual like uh, roll on the inside when it's all said and done too, to make sure that there's no difference there. But uh, they all look to be about the same. Okay, so for the Mega Plus rolls, you get eight of them and 136 grams. And you get 1,088 grams of toilet paper. The Super Mega, you get six of them at 173 grams and it is 1,038. The Double Plus, you get 30 of them at 68 grams. Is that even right? That seems like super light. We'll round it up to 70 because that one came up. You get 2,100 grams. Okay, so one of these varies in the seam. So let's do another test. All right, so we have the distance between squares on the Super Mega is actually considerably shorter. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. So would you actually go through this faster <coughs> or slower? depending on if you actually paid attention to like the squares themselves. If you don't, I don't think this factors in at all. If you do, this is a huge factor for you and that's something that you need to look at. So, you can see the difference between three squares. The super mega, which is supposed to be the most like six equals 36 thing is significantly shorter than the other ones. All right, so now we're gonna look at pricing because that's what everybody wants to know. Um, we're just gonna use Target for this. I assume everybody has a Target. And we're gonna Google Charmin, what is this called? Charmin Ultra Strong. We will also do the math on quantities and if that really matters. That way this is all inclusive. Six super mega rolls for 1069. You can get 12 super mega rolls for 1819. Mega plus, you have more options. You have four, six, eight, 12, and 18. And those go from 689, 839, 1069, 14.99 and 20.99. So now we have super mega, mega plus, and now we need double plus, which has one option of 30 and it's 17.49. Now let's do some math. Calculator. Ooh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So. Because th there's a variance between the amount of rolls you get, we need this thing. Because there are more of these in a package. So, we're gonna turn this thing on. Hopefully this measures. Three grams. So if you buy 30 rolls, you're getting 90 grams worth of that stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna do the math on the other stuff and then we're gonna have all the answers. 
Math done, we have all the answers. Hit that subscribe button right now because I'm about to solve all your problems. All right, so these numbers, eight equals 36, 72 equals 187, whatever up there, fictional product, it doesn't exist. Using their math, they're saying that there's a roll of toilet paper out there for purchase that equals 30.88 grams and it weighs, uh, it costs 25.7 cents. This is what something that weighs 31 grams looks like. There's no rolls of toilet paper that exist on the market like this. Um, that's like mostly used roll of toilet paper and they would not sell this for 26 cents. So I'm not sure exactly where they're getting that information from, but once you disregard this information that they just made up to confuse you, here's how it actually works. If you went with the double plus, which is like the 30 equals 68, once you deduct the, uh, the tubes from the inside and you measure just how much toilet paper you're getting per dollar spent, you are getting 114.9 grams of toilet paper per dollar spent. But when you step up to the Mega Plus, you're getting 114 grams of toilet paper per dollar spent. What do you think happens when you go to the Super Mega though? 112 grams of toilet paper per dollar spent. Now, there's a little bit of a variance in here because obviously this is not the best scale in the world. I didn't measure like a thousand rolls of toilet paper to make sure that I got like the exact science down. Uh, there's a little bit of a variance, but two grams, like if you don't know how much two grams is, uh, you ain't in the streets enough, or it's such a meaning, it's like nothing. That's what it is. It's essentially nothing, there's no difference. So. If you went with the double plus and you wanted to carry 30 rolls of toilet paper home from the grocery store, you can. If you want to go with the mega plus and feel like you're, you know, cheating the system and you don't, oh, I'm not going to buy that super mega stuff because that's just pricier. And the, the middle ground is exactly, you know, I don't want to go with the cheap. I don't want to go with the expensive. I want to go with the middle. You're paying the same exact price. And when you go with the super mega, uh, you're also paying the same exact price. Here's something that you might not think about though. Do you walk to the grocery store? Do you have enough space underneath your sink to store all 30 rolls of these toilet paper? And if you don't, you have to store them in like a closet and then people don't restock them in the bathroom and then you think that there's another one down there and there's not and then you gotta walk a shame and stuff like that. So you might not go with the 30 rolls because you might want the convenience of not swapping out toilet paper rolls. So you might want to step up to something like this, but if you're gonna step up to something like this, you might as well step up to these things too, because they're all exactly the same. The math has been done. No need to stress anymore. Hit the subscribe button, change my life. I'm gonna try to help you guys out with like, you know, hard life things like this. And uh, tomorrow we're going right back to the vlog. But this, needed to be solved today.